Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for being here again if you are a returning subscriber. If you're new, hi, my name is Jarrell and in today's video we're going to be creating four looks using the new Petite Fours from Viseart. I was kindly sent all of them to me which it was a huge surprise. I've never received PR from Viseart and this was like such an amazing surprise so i'm really excited and i decided to create a look using all of them so i am going to be showing you how i created a look using the blue quad and this one right here which is the one that i have on my eyes and this right here is the one that i started with and of course they also sent the little green one which is one of my favorite like color stories but there's going to be a ranking after i show you guys the looks just so you guys know which one is my least favorite and which one is like my number one favorite out of the quads and if you're interested in a specific quad you can definitely check out the description area i will have a timestamps for you guys and of course you can also find all of the information of what i am wearing what i have on my lips my eyes my brows and all of that good stuff down below as well in the description area so if you use any of my links i really truly appreciate it so let's go ahead and get started with the video but before we do please don't forget to like that definitely helps out my channel a lot and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever i upload a new video and without further ado let's get on to the video <laughs> so i am going to be using my p louise base for all four looks and this is a sigma p88 brush so I am going to start with this one right here and this one is called the Petite Force Garnet. I'm going to set everything in place and highlight my brow bone with this shade right here. And I'm using the What's Up Beauty Brush R105 and just going around the edges. It does have a little bit of kickback on the pan. I'm going to take this shade right here. Using the Refer 14 brush, I'm just going to tap this right here in the outer corner. And that is a lot of pigmentation. And whatever is on the brush, I'm just going to blend the edges and start bringing it into the crease. Going back with the previous brush that we were using just to blend the edges. So based on the color stories and the finish of the eyeshadows, I definitely don't think that they are a standalone palette. You can definitely pull other palettes from your collection and that way you can just make it work for your liking i am going to take this shade right here and i'm going to add it all over the lid and just from the inner corner all over the lid and just blending those two together with the previous shade so just looking straight forward just going to blend it out just a little bit here and blend the edges so you do have some fallout for sure so just keep that in mind i am going to take the red shade now and i'm going to Add it to my lower lashes and just focusing the color mostly in the outer part and going halfway in a third of the way i'm just going to also bring it a little bit in the outer corner on the lid just so it can blend nicely with everything and i'm going to run a little bit of the orangey shade right here connecting it with the red and just to add a little bit of more color to this look i am going to take a little bit of the red with my finger and i'm just going to tap it here where these two shades meet. Yep, just like that. It actually looks so much better put together. Cleaning the look a little bit with a wipe and just shaping it up a little bit more. Guys, okay, so here is look number one. And you can always add a shimmery shade in the inner corner as well as falsies and just tweak it to your liking. So using this one right here from Viseart, this one is called the Petites for Lapis. Lapi? Lapi, maybe? I don't know but uh, this is it and it's the blue one and here are all the shades i am going to start with this one and set my brow bone and just bring it around the edges all right i'm going to start with this metallic blue right here the outer v right here i'm just going to really keep it low and i'm using the refer 13 brush and with whatever is on the brush i'm just going to start blending this eyeshadow and just bringing it up creating my shape and adding a little bit to the crease bringing it in little by little just adding a little bit more of that blue right on the lid just to intensify it a little bit more and just with my eyes a little open because I, my eyes are 
hooded I'm just going to bring it in a little bit just like that so using a flat brush like this one I'm going to take this shade right here just add it to the lid I'm gonna add it to the inner corner like that and bringing it in little by little we're going to add the bronzy shade on this one right here and see how it looks pretty sure it's not gonna look its best but it's makeup and we can try it so I am going to add this shade right here in the center with my finger and just start melting all of the shades together. All right, so now taking all of the shades and just start blending it. So I am going to take the blue with a pencil brush and just add it to the outer corner. And going back with the bronzy shade right here, I'm just going to add that one from the inner corner leading with blue. So just cleaning out the fallout, definitely do your eyes first with these eyeshadows. And here is look number two. You can always add falsies. To the look, I went ahead and added a black liner in the waterline and tight line. So we're going to start with this one and this one is called Peridot and I'm going to take this shade right here in a refer 15 brush. So let's go ahead and do this eye a little bit closer than what I have been doing before. Let me know in the comment section down below if you actually prefer this view when I am just doing the eyes. So I'm taking that shade and as you can see it's building up really really nicely. So after placing that shade I'm just going to blend it. I'm just taking a little bit of that shade and just adding it to the outer corner on the lower lash. All right, now taking the darker green first and I'm using a refer 02 brush and I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner and just really staying on the lid, not taking it too high up. I'm just building that shade, taking a little bit more of this green shade right here with a refer 13 brush and just adding it a little bit on the crease and trying to blend the transition shade with this green and just building that depth. Now taking this shade right here, going to pop it in the middle and just trying to marry those two together and really stay on the lid with this one. We're going to leave a little space for the other green. I'm just taking that darker green again just to marry those two together. And with whatever is on the brush, I'm just going to bring it in a little bit to the inner corner to create that depth. So with my finger, just grabbing that middle shade one more time, just because it seems like we lost a little bit of that intensity. So now taking the lighter green, so just adding that to the inner corner and that is a beautiful green. So just trying to marry all of these three shades together. Wow, that is beautiful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take that lighter green on the very tip of the brush. I'm just going to add a little bit right here and work it in the lash line like that. So there's a little bit of lime green up here and a little bit of that lime green on the lash line and just feather in like that. So just taking that middle shade, adding it right in the center. I'm going to take this middle green right here on a pencil brush and I'm going to add it right in the middle. Now taking the lighter green again, going to add it to the inner corner and taking this dark green and we're going to add it to the outer corner and blending it into this middle shade. Add your favorite dark brown liner to your waterline and to your tie line. So here we have look number three. We're moving on now to the last little quad, which is this one right here. And this one is called Bouillon. Bouillon? I don't know. But these are the shades. As you can see, it's going to be pretty smoky. That is the only blending shade that we have. So let's see what we can create. I'm going to grab a small brush just like this. And I'm going to take the black. And I'm going to start creating my shape. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner. And I'm going to also bring it down on the lower lash on the outer part. And I'm really not going super high up. And I'm going to start bringing it in little by little. And this is right above my crease. So I'm not going to bring it in all the way. I'm just going to stop right here. And grabbing the refer 13 brush i'm just going to blend the edges and i want to make it straight i don't want to make it like too catty so taking the really really golden shade with a refer 21 brush and just building that from the very inner corner of the lid 
all around just leaving this part right here so we can add the other shade this shade is very crumbly on the pan so you might want to use some big plus so it doesn't do that i'm going to take this shade right here with my finger i'm going to add it right where we have a little bit of space just to give it a little bit more dimension all right so now we are going to take the refer 13 brush again and with the black and i'm just going to make sure that there is blending between these shades just going back and forth very gently and taking the smaller brush again and just going in a little bit on the lower lash and just taking the very tip of the brush and just going on the edges so i'm going to tight line i'm going to add it to the waterline all right guys just to finish up the look we're going to add this one right here to the inner corner of our eye super tiny not a lot and here is the final look So now that you finished watching the looks let's go ahead and do the ranking so just to let you guys know just to let you guys know the quality is definitely there i love how easy it is to build up the color how easy it is to blend really really nice formula i am a little bit concerned about the fallout so just in case you are using these little quads for yourself or if you have an event to go to or if you're going to recreate any of the looks i would definitely suggest for you to do your eyes first and then do your face makeup just as a suggestion so now that that is said let's go ahead and do the ranking my least favorite just the color story is not for me and i don't really see like it being so like bam in your face is going to have to be this one right here which is the petite garnet unfortunately it's just not a color story for me i don't see myself reaching for this one it just didn't wow me it is really nice and beautiful and definitely wearable but it's definitely not something that i see myself being wowed by so this is going to be in last place third place which i'm really really surprised because this color story is really really beautiful but i like the other two a little bit better I'm gonna have to give it to this one right here which is the petite peri dot so here it is this shade right here is absolutely stunning the color story is really nice you can actually just do a whole entire look using this little quads right here you don't have to use anything else is super nice and wearable but the shimmers are just missing a little bit more oomph for me so that is my only thing complain about that one but it is definitely a beautiful beautiful green quad so in second place in second place i'm gonna have to give it to the one that i'm wearing right now it is a so gorgeous absolutely stunning which is this one right here and this one is called the petite bouillon and this is what it looks like something fell down on top of this shadow so i'm so sorry about that but here is the color story once again this is the look that of course you guys saw that i created with it it's so pretty the black is so gorgeous and you can blend it so effortlessly and you can build it up so nicely to a really really intense black this one right here is like very very impressive so i am really in love with this one right here i'm not really into like golds like this but today i just got inspired and i actually wanted to do something dramatic and you know this little quad really made it happen so super super in love with this look so a number one you guys already know <laughs> which one is going to be which is this one right here and this is the petite lapis and it is absolutely gorgeous the sparkle that it gives you on the eyes is just so beautiful gorgeous this shade right here i mean you can just create one look using these two right here and another look using right here but the look that i created i know it's definitely not going to be for everybody but i just it just did something you know it just really got me inspired and i was really really happy with the look that i created and the quality and the sparkle on the eyes it was just so gorgeous so yeah that's it for the rankings of the little quads let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite which one do you see yourself reaching for or maybe purchasing i will link everything and down in the description area just in case you are interested so yeah that is it for this video thank you so much for being here please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time